Welcome to my nature diaries. I am going to be capturing some of the gorgeous views that you saw in the videos earlier on fall here. And it was our peak season or right actually before our peak season. And I just went ahead and taped off another entry in my nature diary and drew a very rough sketch of what I'm going to be painting today. I'll be starting this painting with some cerulean blue and a Princeton number no. 8 brush and I'm just going to be laying down layers and washes of paint and when I'm using inexpensive watercolor paper like this I want to demonstrate that you can still use it for ink and watercolor illustrations but what I do is I just tend to layer it and I just keep adding different colors and um, just trying to basically come up with my own texture since I'm missing that from 100% cotton. Here I'm going to a lemon yellow for the background and I'm going to be actually just applying this lemon yellow in as many places as possible because it won't really matter once I apply color over it um, the yellow will fade into the background of the painting. I'm finishing up adding some of the same color to my text box on the other side of the page. And I'm just continuing to layer colors and there's a brown, I believe that's burnt umber. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix up some uh, burnt sienna and add my foliage to these um, trees that are the ones that I really wanted to highlight. I thought they were so pretty and I wanted to represent them. And I'm just doing some really loose random strokes and I'm going to be filling in with ink um, the rest of the texture for this little landscape. I'm working on this foliage with sap green and brown and moving on to this one tree that was just so brilliant and gorgeous. I mixed a cadmium red with a little bit more of that brown just to tone it down for a background color and then I'll be adding layers that are brighter um, cadmium red you'll see later on um, to help it stand out and give it dimension and depth. As I'm adding these layers I'm really kind of painting intuitively and I'm just adding shapes to suggest leaves and clusters of leaves and I'm not really worried about um, being super defined in every, anything yet. Um, this is how I paint actually as an acrylic artist too. I like to just lay down rough shapes kind of like blocking in and then I'll clean it up um, later as I add the details. I'm just going to be continuing to add layers to this side and as you see um, as I'm, I'm adding some color to the tree trunks it's starting to look a little bit more like a painting or a picture and you can see I've pretty much um, added the layers on the right side and then to the left I'm adding just some falling leaves in the text box. Using my dip pen and my trusty super black ink, I'm going to go ahead now and to just start defining some details. And I feel like this is where these little illustrations kind of come to life for me at least. And it's just, again, another kind of intuitive flow, which makes this very um, comforting, um, very easy to be able to just kind of follow along with the lines and just you know let the shapes themselves kind of define what um, I'm trying to create here representing leaves and foliage. A quick little landscape illustration like this is perfect for um, an entry in your nature diary or nature journal. It doesn't take very long and it's really um, just a great way to add an entry without feeling overwhelmed or intimidated by trying to get everything perfect or precise. Uh, I really enjoy keeping it loose and sketchy as much as I can and it's also teaching me how just to be able to paint looser and to be able to capture images faster so when I want to do a drawing outside I can do it and feel confident that I don't have to have it look perfect. How much detail that you want to add with your ink is completely up to you. I like to use it to kind of create some of these smaller branches and just add some more definition and outlines to this landscape. Now that I finished this right side, we'll be going over to the left side and I'm going to be doing the same thing and just keeping it loose and light, following those shapes for the leaves and trying to keep it loose and organic because 
uh, nature is like that. It's not very symmetrical. And this kind of ink work and painting actually does help me uh, remember to keep things nice and loose. And um, I'm really enjoying the style of this kind of painting. I'm going to go ahead and fill in now with my dip pen um, the entry, the nature diary entry on the left hand side and I'm just going to be just writing some reflections and what I saw, how I felt, capturing that moment again in my nature diary and I feel like nature journaling can really be um, interesting like this. It doesn't have to be just all science, all recordings of this and that. It can just be a mix of of everything because we do have trail guides and books and things online to be able to record those so it's really great I feel like to include just your feelings and thoughts about the experience you had just want to invite you as always to make sure you subscribe and follow along comment like that really helps my channel and I hope that you were inspired. That's my hope and goal to uh, create your own nature diary or journal or just to be more creative in general. I love the look of a white border on these little landscapes. It makes it feel like a book and an illustration in a book and it just turned out so lovely and it was so easy and I just feel a little less intimidated to continue to add these landscapes to my nature diary well thank you again so much for watching and for even watching to the very end that's awesome and just a reminder again to please like and subscribe if you haven't already or share appreciate you sharing these videos as well just a quick reminder to remember that you are amazing and creative and I hope you're inspired to, to make something beautiful today. And if you do, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. All right. Until then, have a great rest of your week. Bye.